Alright guys, happy Easter. We're just getting out of church. What a great day it is. Tons of people, tons of traffic to get out of church today. We're going to be doing a video today about nutrition. Okay, It's a great day. It's important that we do the nutrition. Uh, I posted up the first video and right away people were asking about the nutrition, which is a good sign. Because that's basically, I would have to say, the most important thing about this whole fitness thing. Uh, so, we get out of, we're getting out of church. Good day. The Lord has risen. And we'll be with you shortly. Okay, guys. So, uh, we're on our way to the grocery store. I'm going to talk a little bit about nutrition. Which, previous, previously, I said it was the most important thing for this fitness thing. And I'm going to say it's probably the second most important thing. The number one thing when you're getting into this fitness, you're trying to make... Uh, healthy choices you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle is your mind okay this is what I have told the few people that I have talked to about this is your mind okay you could try to do all this other stuff all the meals your nutrition good workout but if your mind is not right in the right place you're not gonna get very far think about this remember this you change your mind and the things that you think about are different the things that you look at will be different you will no longer be do looking at the same old things that you've been looking at the, your whole life okay now when I start talking people sometimes ask me uh, I run into people and they ask me hey you know how do you do it they bring a are you on a diet you know did you get on a diet first of all I hate that word diet because when people talk about diet what they're talking about is starving themselves basically you, Oh, I'm gonna get on this crazy diet, this liquid diet, or uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna eat. Okay, if you don't eat, you don't eat the correct way, what basically is gonna happen, you're just gonna make a smaller version of yourself. Okay, now, you need to be honest with yourself about this. Okay? I'm not saying be realistic, because I don't want you to be realistic. I want you to be do not be realistic. Think outside the box. You, you, you. Do you want to just be skinny? There's homeless people that do not have food to eat, and they have abs, but they're skinny because they do not have any, enough food to eat. The very little food they eat is just stuff that they're fast food that people are giving it to them on the street, and you know stuff like that. Is that really what you want to look like? I'm telling you to be honest with yourself. Okay, most people are not honest with themselves. Okay, I. And when I started, I wasn't honest with myself. I, I've, you know, been many years where I was just jogging, doing uh, 5Ks, 10Ks, uh, dieting a certain amount, trying to lose weight. That's not, now when I got into this, it's like, you know what, that's not being honest with myself. I do not want to look like that. What I really want to look like, and what most people I believe want to look like, you want to look like a superhero. You want to look like Batman. You want to look like Superman, okay? Now, most people may not want to look like the Hulk. Okay, those are the top bodybuilders. Those guys are beasts. They want to look like the Hulk. Okay? Now, that's a whole side story. That's a whole different thing. You want to look like the Hulk, you're going to have to do things that that are not natural. But just be honest about it, and we'll talk about that later on. But if you're, this is, I'm doing these videos for the beginners to intermediate, people that are getting started, and that want to do it naturally. Okay? No illegal substance, just hard work and nutrition okay. now a lot of times when I start talking to people and they ask me about this thing I start telling well this is how I eat and this and that and right away they'll say I cannot I cannot uh, I don't like eggs I can't eat eggs or I don't like vegetables I can't eat so I don't I, I, I'm not rude and I'm not gonna just stop talking to the person but really I just want to stop talking to that person because remember this Confucius once said he who says he can and see he who says he cannot are both usually right. Think about that. As soon as you say, I can't, yes, you're right. You can't, you never will. Okay, you got to remember that. You never will. Okay? Now, if you say, yes, I can, and you keep saying, yes, I can, you keep pushing and pushing and pushing, then you will be able to do it. It's all about a matter of time. You may not succeed today or tomorrow, 
but eventually you will and you do not let anybody get in your way okay so that to me is the most important thing about and this whole fitness thing translates to everything not just fitness you'll learn once you get going that it tries like you you'll be a different person okay, you'll walk a different way people will look at you a different way okay now I'm gonna tell you some people are not gonna like you okay because you're showing them when you walk into a place or you're around certain people you're you're a mirror of what they are not able to do okay Rem so the more people you st if you're on Facebook you start noticing people are hating on you and stuff like that you know a lot of people won't even say anything you're doing a good thing because not everybody's gonna come along with you okay now now that I got that around we're getting here to the store before we stop I'm gonna show you a little bit I'm gonna put this on Facebook so you can um, get an idea of how I'm doing my meal plan currently now this is not to lose weight okay when you get to, to a certain point you're gonna want to gain weight now let me just show you this real quick I'll put it on Facebook this is what I've done okay you need to know about macros macros are basically the amount of carbs protein fat okay, and then what I've done is I've written every meal that I'm gonna eat uh, this is after the last competition because I'm trying to put on some some weight and here are the totals okay uh, you actually need to do this it this takes some time it takes some effort okay but once, like me, what I've done, I've this is my current one. I've done it in the past where I was trying to lose some weight. Okay, so it'll look a lot different. If you notice right here, my total calories right now are uh, 3150. Okay. Now, carbs are very high. I'm only like 140, uh, like 144 pounds when I started this. About 100, no, it was 142, 142 two weeks ago. Of course, that was right after the competition. I jumped up right away to like 144 and a half right after the competition. Currently, yesterday I was at 148. I mean, yesterday morning I was 148. But yesterday I already lost a pound. I'm down to 147 because it was a rough day meal-wise because my daughter was at softball all day. So I was I was not able to do all the meals that I should have. Okay. I actually had to eat a, slice, a couple slices of pizzas because I hadn't the rent, the games ran long and I wasn't able to get to where I, I I did not have enough food for the rest of the day. So yesterday was supposed to be a rest day, but I still worked out because where she was playing softball, one of uh, Planet Fitness, there was one half a mile away. So guess what? On my rest day, I went and did arms. Today will be chest day. Today I start my week on Mondays. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go in. This is a little bit of the meal plan. I'll put it on Facebook so you can see it. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about macro nutrition, macros and macronutritions. Okay, let's get going. Okay, these are some of the meals that I use for the second meal. Okay, this is all convenience. Uh, I pay more for the food because it's after, it has to be convenient for me. I'm single, two daughters, so I do not have someone to cook for me. I do some of this stuff myself. So these are some of the meals. This is actually my second meal of the day. So I'll take a bunch of those. Uh, here's some of you can look on here. Convenience. Protein. Protein, I'll show you how you divide it up. Yogurts, eggs, blueberries, I'll show you how you put all everything together. Uh, let's go put it over here. Monster cheese on top of my egg. 
egg whites. Uh, we're not buying egg whites. Uh, we already have egg whites. Oatmeal, big bowl of oatmeal. We already have some, so I'm not gonna buy broccoli. We're using frozen broccoli. Okay. Right here. So I'm not gonna buy any. We already have it. Yam patties. For some reason, it seems like they discontinued, but they'll just be frozen little yam patties. So you're easy to count the carbs on. All right guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through this plan. I've put all this stuff out. I hope I, it's not too complicated. I'm gonna show you how I'm eating right now. And I'm gonna give you some examples on how, when you're trying to uh, lean out or lose weight, it's gonna be a little bit different. One of the things, the way you think, remember the mind, the way you think, is the most important thing. When you get a, you might wanna do some things like this. Now I get up, I see Arnold, I see Steve Cook, some of these guys, you need to find out who these guys are, Steve Cook, he's big time on YouTube. Of course, I always have Pope Francis, Pope John up here. You know, as soon as you get up, you gotta be influenced by positive things. Looking at YouTube videos that are motivational, listening to me that's motivational. If you're listening to a lot of negative stuff from the start to the beginning of the day, you have to uh, fast start your day, it's gonna be a rough day. Okay, you need to have positive all day going. So this is what I do, I get up right away, and you have to be prepared. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to a little bit of how, to, how I have to prepare. Right away, BCAAs. What I'm using right now is all day you may. Rich piano is all day you may. BCAAs. Okay. Some of this stuff you may not want to do it when you're very starting because it costs money. Uh, supplements are just to supplement your food. Okay, it's not a it's not a magic, there's not a magic pill that's okay, I'm gonna take this and you're gonna get lean. There isn't. I've tried all kinds of stuff. It's all hard work and how you eat. Big, you know, big how you eat. So right away I get up, right away I start taking a drink of this. Okay, I take this, then I do the creatine. Okay, one scoop. Uh, you read directions for that. Take fish oil, my uh, multivitamins. And what I do for my first meal is I do oatmeal, okay. I already have measured out. You have to do some work to figure out how many carbs you need to take. Uh, I already know. I have it written down. Okay, about half a cup, which is about two of these, two of these scoops. The way I do it, I put one scoop in this bowl, kind of halfway. Then I put one of these packs cover that first scoop up. Then I put another scoop on top. Then with a, some water, I just pour it, fill it up with water, not all the way, just so it covers the oatmeal. Because what I'm going to do is I let it sit for about five minutes while I go prepare my eggs. Once all that water gets soaked up into the oatmeal, then I put the yogurt on top. Of course, I get the blueberry for later. Usually, I'm using the Light and Fit. Okay, but that did not have the Light and Fit. So I went ahead and bought this because I wanted the flavor. I like this flavor. Before I put the yogurt in, I put the blueberries on top. Then I mix it all together. Okay. This is not a problem for me right now because I'm trying to gain. So this has more calories, more carbs. You need to check everything. You need to check. The way I do it, I prepare and I eat the same things over and over and over every day. Oh, that's difficult. I can't do that. If you can't do it, you're right. If you say you can't, you're right. You're not going to be able to. I say I can. If you say you can, you can do it. Okay. This is what works for me. If something else works for you, you can change up whatever you want to do. It got to work for you. My, once I get done with that, I prepare the eggs. Two e eggs, right? Right. Currently, it's two eggs and uh, two egg whites. When I'm trying to lean out, I just do egg whites. I use olive, just spray on olive oil, put that on. Then I use some of the mozzarella cheese just to give it some flavor. I don't put any salt. Eggs already have a lot of sodium, so I just put this a little bit just for flavor. Take this to work with me. This is my second meal. Usually I'm eating at 5.30 in the morning breakfast, 8 o'clock I'm eating my second meal. I'm a teacher so there's not a lot of time, uh, a lot of breaks. Then 10 o'clock, my third meal. Uh, one of these bars, small bars, and one, uh, one rice cake. This week I'm going to go to two rice cakes because I've already gained a little bit of weight so I need to up the calories a little bit. It's all about changing and increasing or by, you know, by, if you're trying to lose weight, you need to go down. You need to lower the carbs. Okay, right now, the, remember the protein, the uh, beef fajitas and the chicken fajitas that I bought? 
I buy the, I prepare them, I divide it all up. It tells you on the bag about how many servings it has of protein. You need to divide them up and I'll have them for the whole week. Okay, this is how I'm doing it currently because it's convenient for me. I'm just taking this, this, and two of these. Basically, that's two more meals. There's one right there, one right here. This one's around 12 o'clock. This one's about closer to 3 o'clock. Okay, if you were trying to lean out, what I would recommend is little tubs. You can buy these anywhere. You can get them from bodybuilding.com or you just go to Walmart. And what I do is I put everything together. It could be all together or a little bit separate. The, the meat, it could be ground turkey, chicken, uh, lean meat, whatever it is. Then rice, of course, you need to learn about the macros that you're gonna have to lower the carbs. So I would be doing one bag for, for this, not two. I would do maybe even less. I'll put a little bit of rice, meat, broccoli. Currently I'm not eating that much broccoli because I'm trying to increase them. That does not have a lot of calories. If I'm doing this for the whole week, I have it all. I'm not going to show, show you everything that's in the freezer, but I'll have it for the whole week. So night before or in the morning, I'm just grabbing it, put it in my bag, and go. I don't forget my water and my meals. Everything else is already packed the night before. My pre-workout. I got these little uh, M&M sticks right here. Basically, I put the pre-workout in here, and it's in here. So, you know, to me... I got one of my uh, bars in there, the pre-workout, and I'll have this in my bag. And I'll have this in my bag, my post-workout. Now, currently, I'm using Mass Gainer, okay, Optimum, Optimum Nutrition Mass Gainer, because I have it left over. So that's what I'm using. Now, if you were trying to lean out, you would not be using that. That has a lot of protein, a lot of carbs. You would be using whey protein. One of these, I use this, or this one. These are left over, I'm not using them right now. So, uh, that would be right after. Now, you also need carbs to load after you work, even if you're trying to lean out. But when you're trying to lean out, I would use honey or dextrose. You could buy a big jug of dextrose on bodybuilding.com or pixie sticks. I put the whey protein and the pixie, I mix them together. In here, I love these shapers. You can put some of the protein in here, or some of the carb in here, or down here. So everything's put together. Now, currently, like I said, I'm using mass gainer. Let me give you a little tip on mass gainer. This is thick stuff. It's a lot of powder. It's about that. Much. It's very deep. It's and it's real thick powder. So it's hard to shake up. Lessons learned. First, put a little bit of water in. Then, you put the mass gainer in. Okay. Now, this is how I do it. If you got a better way, I don't know. But I'm not going to carry around a big old bag of powder. This, boom. Then I put some more water on top. Then I, and I, the way I shake it up, I make it go down, make the powder go down a little bit. And then I shake it all up. If not, going to happen if you put the powder in there or say I try to put water in there and shake it up all this stuff is going to get stuck at the bottom it's not going to shake up okay. my last meal so it's my little another little treat uh, and this is on a week regular weekday weekend I'll, I'll change up the, the, the order this the meals a little bit but what I do is I get a little bit of a bowl, a bowl and I put a little bit of water one scoop of casing then I, I stir it where it becomes a thick paste, like a thick chocolate paste. Then on the top, put Greek yogurt. Mix it all up. Sit there and watch a little bit of TV before I go to sleep, and it tastes like an ice cream. Okay, now it's about the mind. Okay, you, before I never would eat Greek yogurt. I would never eat yogurt. No vegetables, I would never eat vegetables. Now I eat broccoli because I, Accustom myself to this. Okay, now you have to change your mind. Okay, you have to be able to look at food a different way. Okay, if you're looking at food as just as pleasure, okay, well that's going to give you a lot of pleasure. You know, a lot of pizza, a lot of burgers, all kinds of stuff, processed food. Okay, if you're living a fit 
healthy lifestyle, you want to live, live a, a healthy lifestyle, you're going to have to change the way you look at food. Okay? It's all about the macros. You need to go on, on Google and find a macro calculator. It's going to tell you the carbs, like I showed you earlier on my chart. Carbs, protein, fats. Depending on your height, your age, your weight, and what your goal is. You want to lose weight, you want to maintain, you want to increase, increase weight. You have to do this. You have to put the work in. Okay? You have to search. Okay? But a lot of stuff is on the bags. Okay, so, or you could Google it. Say, you, okay, you like a certain type of food. You know, oh, uh, I don't want to eat uh, brown rice, I want to eat yams. Okay, well, you got to figure out how much grams of, of carbs are in that, those yams and eat yams. I used to, I love yams now. I never would eat yams before. I would, I buy these little pro, uh, patties. They didn't have any right now. Things are discontinued, so I got to figure out a different way. But basically, this is the way it is. Okay, you have to be prepared, and this is for the whole week. That's why I have these to show. I don't have, I haven't prepared them all for the whole week, but I'll have them all ready, and I'll have them in the pantry. The next day, I'm ready. I get home, put my bag down, get my stuff out, the dirty coat, whatever, and put the new stuff in there. New one of these, new uh, uh, shaker. This it's already ready. This everything's already ready. I put it in the meals. I'm ready in the morning. I just get up, get them, put them in my bag, take them to work. Uh, that's what you have to do. You have to figure it out. Okay, so I cannot give you an exact amount. I cannot tell you these are the grams of fat, protein that you're gonna do. A guideline, usually they're gonna tell you about a one gram or one in, or one in, one to two grams of protein. A lot of people say it's one. But there's debate about that. One thing you're gonna learn about this fitness thing is that there's guidelines, there's rules, and then there's exceptions to every rule. Okay, even workouts. The way you work out. Uh, let me just give you an example. You should never uh, do cardio before you lift, which is a great thing. You really probably most of the time should not do that. But then there's times that you want to do that. Okay. So and not another example. You want to do uh, compound movements at the beginning and then do the isolation movements at the end. You'll start understanding about more about this. Not all the time. Sometimes you want to do it different. You want to shock the body. Your body's going to get accustomed to all this. Okay, it's it's an incredible machine that I now know that it gets accustomed to everything. The way you eat, the way you uh, work out, it's all about mental correctness. When you're trying to lean out, okay, there, this, one of the meals that I'll show you another example that I do sometimes. Instead of doing this, which has 50 uh, grams of carbs, you don't want that many carbs. What I do for my second meal, sometimes is these packs of tuna. These, these taste so good. I, my favorite is this ranch one. They only have 80 calories or 90 calories, and they usually have about 16. This one has 14 grams of protein. This one has 16. So usually about 14, 15. And you'll start remembering a lot of this stuff once you get used to it. And basically what I'll do, instead of uh, this, have one of these, have one of these, with some rice cakes, depending. You'll start learning that these have about 12. This one has 12. Depending on the flavor, some of them have 11, some of them have 13, but that'll give you an idea. Another important thing, meal prep. Uh, again, I have a customized self where it doesn't matter to me how the food tastes. Okay, I have a friend that maybe she's gonna maybe do a video or two because she does her meal prep, but she makes it look good and it tastes good, okay? And it's still healthy. But she puts a lot more effort to her to it. Uh, this is more for convenience. Now, cooking. If you don't want to use frozen food, frozen meat, frozen pro process, I mean protein, hey, cook it. Use uh, chicken, chicken thighs, chicken breast, uh, some kind of lean meat. I love. I like using London broil. And the way I do it, so it's enjoyable. Also, uh, cooking is on Fridays. Most people do Sunday prep day. On Sunday, they spend their time prepping all this stuff. I do it on Fridays. I haven't done it, that's why I'm using the frozen food, right, the frozen meat right now is because it's been uh, during Lent and we don't really eat, my family doesn't eat, so they eat fish. So they have made grilling. But usually my brothers and my dad, they grill on Fridays. So what I do is I take my food and I cook it. And I just set it to the side, let it cool down. They don't put it in the fridge, bring it home and put it in the refrigerator. On Saturday, then I put everything together and I freeze it. Okay, it stays like that. 
You could probably use it a, a week or something. Uh, it's, it's fine. And another thing, right now the way I'm cooking is convenience also. I don't have to clean these little bowls. I'm just taking these like this. This is one meal. These, I just put the bag in there, into the microwave. I just open it a little bit, open it in the microwave, and it steams everything. It works in fine. So that's basically it, guys. I uh, hope it's in, you know, good information. Hopefully it's something you could use. If you have questions, just put in your comments, and I'll try to answer you the best that I can. So uh, happy Easter. Happy the rest of the Easter. Uh, enjoy. And a little fist pump. Today's chest day. I start my, chest, my workouts on Sunday, not on Monday. Monday's a bad thing to do chest day on Monday because everybody's there. So uh, knock out those workouts, guys. See you. Bye.